Hey guys, Chatham one here, and today we are playing Pokemon Off of Sapphire on another episode of UGC Academy. Uh, I know it's been probably about a week or two since I've done one of these, and I'd like to apologize for people who really do like following the video series uh, I do on this stuff. Um, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do yet in this video, but I am going to quickly show off some minor changes to the team. Um, Hydrogen, who you probably remember from last episode, uh, has been replaced with Zapdos. Um... Rocky Helmet Zapdos. I may switch that over to Life Orb. I haven't really decided yet um, if, if that'll work or not with this setup. Um, I've also thought of replacing Talonflame with Norvern, even though Talonflame is really the only original member of my original VGC Academy team left, uh, and he's done really works for me. So uh, I haven't decided on that yet, but it is surely an option. So, um,. You know, let's do some mock battles. Um, might do a battle spot video later on. I haven't decided yet. I'm not, I haven't really got much time to work with this team. We're gonna go to the versus recorder. We're gonna. I'm gonna basically use the mock battle from a battle I did on my birthday against my good friend Michael, uh, who goes by Soul. Uh, I think he's got a YouTube channel, but I don't know the name of it. So I'll, once I find out, I will surely let you guys know. All right, so he, in this in this specific battle, he's running Latios, Groudon, Swampert, Vulpix, Exploud, and Mawile. I think he leads with Mawile and Exploud. So let's see how this works out. Yep, leading with Mawile and Exploud. Alakazam and Sylveon are my leads. Um, I can kind of play dirty with this setup here. Uh, most people know my Alakazam is my beast mode right now. He's been working really well. Now I did for a moment experiment with uh, the possibility of running the Gengar instead of Alakazam. Uh, it didn't live up to the hype that Alakazam did and did not perform as well. So I did switch back to Alakazam. Um, again the possibility of running Noivern in the future is open. Um, possibly even to replace uh, Zapdos. We're gonna land the focus blast. It's gonna be super effective KOing X Cloud. We did run the protect on um, Ma on uh, Sylveon. Mawile gonna land the crunch. Gonna do some tremendous damage there, even um, which makes a bit of sense, knowing that Alakazam is not a different a, a, a physical defense Pokemon, which I kind of saw this one coming. So I'm going to try to hit that moon blast. Now I'm going to go for the hyper beam on the Vulpix because the Vulpix has a really low defense. And bad luck for me. I'm missing my wild in the focus blast. Hyper beam going to land. To do some extreme damage to that Vulpix. And does... Uh, no, does not get the one shot. But it will cost me Alakazam out there, which is kind of unfortunate how a little Mawile doesn't even know that off and take out Alakazam like that. Sylveon suffering from that burn. Alright, let's see what Talonflame can get in there, because I see some advantages there I can play with. Especially in the Mawile. Now, let's hit the Fire Blast in the Mawile, and Sylveon's going to have to recharge. Again, missing that Mawile. And then Land Crunch is going to go for Talonflame. Still a little mad that Alkazam's down. I could have used that Focus Blast. And we'll try the Fire Blast again. Going to go for the Moon Blast on the Vulpix. Oh my goodness, it's three times in a row I missed that. The Hex is going to land, do some minor damage to Sylveon. Sylveon going to land the Moon Blast. And that will finish off Vulpix. Well, well, big. Well, picks. Now, I do believe Groudon comes into the arena next. My wall going to land crunch again. Which does some minor damage, or not too much, but I'm now sitting at nearly half health because I can't land Fire Blast. Swamper coming in. I'm in even worse of a shot right now. I'm going to have to make some moves here. I'm going to try for that Smooth Blast again. 
Now, in the original battle, ironically enough, um, he did not Mega Evolve Swampert. I mean, I, uh, this is the first Mega Evolution I've seen out of him, and I cannot land freaking um, Fire Blast, and that may have just cost him a Talent Flame as well. So, Mawile is evading every single move I throw at it, even from the best of my team. I'm going to land Moonblast. Not a lot of damage, though. I may go protect, double protect, so I'm about to send in uh, Zapdos. Infatuate, um, Mawile, but it's not going to help much. And Sylveon goes down. Now I'll tell you, if, if Focus Blast and or Fire Blast didn't land it, this would be a totally different match. I do have to worry about that Rock Slide, though, because he did run that way a lot. What are my what are my choices here, Zapdos? Not very good. So I am gonna send in Spear Tomb and Landorus. This just may this may save my butt in the end. This is actually really upsetting to me right now. Seeing this team just set up like this so bad. He's got four, and I'm running three. So I am going to go for a move that never misses, that being Dark Pulse, and I'm going to take the edge out on that Swampert with Psychic. Landorus is one special attack. Swampert going for Waterfall, targeting Spear to him for some weird, weird reason. Moderate damage, not a lot. Crunch, going to land Flush, off switch as well. Of course, playing with that Dark Ghost typing, he's not going to take a lot, but he's just going to lower that defense, and he's flinching. So my luck is just not good today. I'm trying to think, is the Earthquake worth it? I'm going to try it. May not have been my greatest idea, though, how we going to deal with Spirit Team going on the And I did wind up carrying him as well. Swampert being the only Pokemon left, my wild goes down. My Swampert is exceedingly tanky. Lander is taking extreme heat for that. And now it's all up to Zapdos to take on the um, Latios and the Swampert. Now my only thoughts here, Aerial Ace the Swampert and get ready to put some fight down on that, uh, on the um, Latios. I'm going to try to land that Stone Edge and do as much damage as I can. Moderate damage, the Aerial Ace connects, that should get rid of Swampert. Get rid of that threat of Rock Slide. Now, with Landorus being low on health, I'm not really in great shape. Landorus, of course, avoids what was in his way, and that did not look good. Now, the next thing i got to deal with is that Groudon. If he's got a Rock-type move, I'm toast. Now, the decision to make here, should I go for Aerial Ace, or should I let Stone Edge deal with the damage again? What I may do, this may seem strange, I'm going to go for the Aerial Ace, and land the Earthquake to try to get a Groudon down, so that I can get rid of, uh, uh, since I won't take down La Zapdos this time. Now I can land it, and do really heavy damage to that Groudon, like Groudon will be a pain in the neck. Aerial Ace almost with the KO. Going to land Draco Meteor. Probably aiming for Landorus. Will it survive? Probably not. If it does, I will be exceptionally shocked. But it doesn't. So it is all up to Landorus. And you can't land anything major with that setup. Or it could be wrong. But he does KO his own Pokemon. That being that Latios. Now it's all up to Zapdos. He does get burned. So I have to go exceedingly clutch now. I am going to bring the Aerial Ace out. I'm not going to go for Protect. Let's see if this works. No. Not anywhere close. This is over. Zapdos is down. There was no way he was standing that one. So here's the thing on that match. As you saw, it was a loss. But the thing is there, if Focus Blast... Or Fire Blast and Talonflame had landed, that may have been a totally different match. So we're going to go for round two. We're basically doing a, the best of three. So basically, I'm down one. 
you are not in good shape. Of course, now I know what's coming. Like Groudon having Lava Bloom, puts me in a much different shape now for this setup. Now I'm gonna, now this time, however, I am gonna set up a different move set. Here. I'm gonna go for the Focus Blast on my while that Larks went out of the way and go for Moon Blast. Get some damage on the Mawile, get its x out of there maybe. Because that x however, is exceedingly powerful. It, is, it can hold up to basically anything thrown at it. So let's just see how this works out. Finally landing the Focus Blast. Mawile is gone. x gonna go for Crunch, it is gonna land, but is it gonna do it too much damage? Not as much as Mawile, now you can see where I'm going there, getting Mawile out of the way as fast as I could. Now what comes out next is Groudon, so basically this will be a job for Protect on Sylveon, and try to get him out of the way, but I may go ahead and go for that Hyper Boom, just to get myself a shot at landing. Now this appears to be the exact same tactic he used in the first in the original battle. Going from X Cloud to Grout or from Mawa to Grout on. So let's see if I can muster up some more hits. And this we're gonna go for the Shadow Ball instead of Hyper Beam, which is my original plan. Focus Blast lands. Now see what happens here. This is an entirely different ball game now with Focus Blast landing. As long as Alakazam can stay accurate, this match will go different. Alakazam avoiding both, avoiding the attack. Shadow Ball lands flush. See the damage? Not a lot. Volpix coming into the equation now. Gonna you know, try for another Focus Blast on Groudon. Maybe I can get some serious damage down there. Hyper Beam the Volpix. Yep, Focus Blast lands flush for a third straight time. A lot of heavy damage there. Flash Fire is going to boost the fire type attack of Vulpix. Going to do some heavy damage, KOing Alakazam, but, but burning Sylveon. But now Vulpix is at risk. Because if I can land the Hyper Beam, he might be toast. And everyone knows where I'm going with this. It's Landers. Let's see what we can do here. As long as Latios doesn't come in, I'm set. Now the sad thing is since I did burn the Hyper Beam, I can't protect. But it's not like Silver Armor survive anything anyway. So we're going to get that Earthquake off and get to moving. Swampert Mega Evolving. I'm at risk here. Landorus is going to land the Earthquake. Damage done to Groudon. Gets Groudon down as well as Sylveon. But will do about half damage on the Swampert. To get in the crit. So that leaves us with Swampert and I believe Latios is all that's left. Mud Bomb not going to affect Landorus at all. So Latios is going to be a Spiritune job. As long as neither of them go for some sort of protect stall, I'll be set to hit with Sucker Punch and that should finish off Latios. But for Swampert, it's going to be an all day psychic job. Because I do not want to risk Kane with Spiritomb again. Sucker Punch does extreme damage, one shots, gets the crit and takes out Latios. Landris is going to land psychic. Alright, so we're down to a little less than half health. Or maybe, well, it's in the red zone. Landorus is going to take some heavy damage from the Surf. We're going to hit it one last time with the U-Turn. And then get the Nasty Plot set up. That U-Turn should finish it off with Landorus' attack set was really high. And sure enough, it does. See there, that's the difference in the ball game, which was, was those focus blasts from Alakazam very early. Alright, so there's that. Now, um, 
Let's run some stat checks on Norbert to see that possibility of replacing Talonflame because, well, like Norvern, Talonflame has uh, a double as a double weakness. Um, to my knowledge, Norvern is a dragon flying type. I've ran Norvern before, so I know what I'm getting into. Um, there he is. It's not showing anything. I believe he is a dragon flying type thing, though. So, um, basically, the weaknesses there are are basically ice is the only double weakness it has. Now it does have weakness to um to the fairy, which is going to be a bit of a problem because fairy is a very commonly ran typing now. With a lot of well, there used to be a, a lot of dragon users that maybe don't know that the fairy type is good or whatever. So there is that risk that I'm going to have to take here. Um, possibly replacing Zapdos is an option. Zapdos has a double weakness to rock. Well, it doesn't have a double weakness, but it does have. A bit of a weakness to rock as well. He's basically thunderous, just older, and a, a bit better looking, <laughs> in my opinion. So that option's always open. Um, you know, uh, it's basically every man for himself right now in that team. Um, again, I'll go ahead and show you the team and the possible Pokemon I'm willing to replace. Now, like I said, I did run a minute of not running Alakazam, and I was running a Gengar instead. But of course, I did think about that with Alakazam's ridiculously high stats, especially that really high special attack. Well, I don't understand why I switched out. Um, Sylveon, who is also possibly on the chopping block, you know, he does have a really nice setup. Now, if I can get an item to change that cute charm to pixelate, holy cow, the Hyper Beam could be lethal. Spiritomb, who's my Shell Bell Pokemon, um... Has also a very high special attack, and as well as access to Sucker Punch and Nasty Plot. I'm probably going to switch Nasty Plot into Pain Split, which is a really lethal move if you get really low on health, because you can just set that up, jolt our health back, and lower theirs pretty, really heavy, especially if they're Psychic types. Now, the uh, one of two Pokemon that are in the main shopping block, Talonflame. Now, Talonflame, if you remember, has been the original um, Pokemon from this team setup, and if you look at its stats, you'll see why. The attack stat is 223, with its speed stat at 290. Those are really, really high. Now, its stats are supposed to be ba balanced out a little bit, so it does have a bit of a higher than average special defense, but it does work really well. It has Razor Claw as well. Um, now, of course, Fire Blast, I believe, is a special attack. Uh, similar story with, with uh, that's, the only, that's the only special type attack it has. Now, it is pretty heavy damage, but it does have that really high risk of missing. So, I'm probably am going to look into a fire type move that is a physical attack just to kind of boost up that, that work with that attack stat that's exceedingly high. Now, next on the list is Zapdos. Zapdos is a new member of my team. I don't have much experience with working on him. He does hold a rocky helmet, which is kind of handy. You know, I can kind of get some hits on people uh, and make them hurt for it if they hit me with a physical attack or any attack at all, I believe. Um, and which Zapdos, really your only option is to hit with a physical attack due to his typing. So, um, that's a pretty good setup there, though. And finally, Landorus, who's holding a lax incense. Like I've said, that maybe switch to Life Orb to boost that already <laughs> really high attack stat. At level 75, it's attack stats higher than Alakazam's special attack stat. Speed is also relatively high as well. I believe Alakazam, yeah, Alakazam and Landorus share the same speed. So in a double battle, it'd be a dice roll for whoever moves first. Also has access to Intimidate, which lowers the opposing Pokemon's attack stat. And if I could just repeatedly switch out, if I had a Pokemon that was tanky enough to sacrifice in that sense, I could lower their attack so low that it wouldn't be able to do, it probably wouldn't even ding my Pokemon whenever I got into a battle. So yeah, there's all that. Um, like I said, the Pokemon that are really on the shopping block are Sylveon, Zapdos, and Talonflame. Uh, you know, I've been running Zapdos a little bit, and you know, he's not really what I was expecting. You know, I was kind of expecting a bit of a hype train, you know, like kind of dishing out major hits. Now, the reason I picked Zapdos was is I needed an electric type, so that would probably be a swap in for Lantern, which I do have one of those at... Um, my VGC training box thing that I've got going on the PC, uh, which I'll go ahead and show you guys while I'm at it. Uh, just so you can kind of see what I'm running with. And um, if you have any ideas for me, you could always message me on PlayStation Network or post on Facebook any ideas because the comments on the videos are turned off 
for a really good reason. Um, if you probably didn't know it, my parents were the people who gave like, me, my younger brother, Lean Mom, gave me permission to make these channels. And that was one of the big things that she wanted done was the comments to be turned off. So no one can talk to us and, you know, berate us for our video structures or whatever. Because, you know, we don't have a lot of money at disposal with me and him. Me and Lean Bomb Gaming. Um, so we, that's why we don't have all the high-end recording equipment like the Elgato yet. We are getting one in the near future. Um, but we're just going to wait and order it. And then... Um, a proper mic is still in the works for me and him as well. Of course, he's got his Sony headset he can run with like me. However, I don't have much on that account. But, you know, I'm not complaining about it. You know, I'm not trying to make people feel bad. I'm just kind of telling y'all why she's, what she's on about, you know. Um, and I apologize last week for the lack of a Throwback Thursday video. I know I've probably, I know I've I mentioned this several times to Throwback Thursday. I may have done it one last Thursday. I'm, I'm, I don't remember for sure. But, um, I did the Pokemon Leaf Green video. If that was last Thursday, then I take back my apology. If it wasn't, I am. I do apologize. Alright. Now that we're here at the Pokemon Center after that really long two minute walk. Holy cow, that's slow. Alright, so we're gonna load up. Oops, wrong button. Uh, we're gonna load up the v my three VGC boxes. And I'm gonna show you every Pokemon by one by one. Holy cow, what's going on? I can't, I seem to be touching him so much. Alright. So starting off with one of my first, with, this was my first actually EV train Pokemon. If you remember watching the series a little bit ago, remember the Slowbro EV training video, this was him. This is the same Slowbro. Still really, really tanky. You know, speed stats really, really low. Uh, at level 60. Regigigas, I don't remember running this at all during the uh, VGC series. I may have, I may not have. Kevlar Shoe, which was a bit of an experiment. I got inspired from the um, uh, Gmod video I did. Venusaur, now this one is not EV trained, but it is relatively balanced. Especially in the special attack, special offensive speed. My Tyrantrum. Really nice setup, you know, it's got really high defenses and attack. Uh, let's see, it's back in the New York, right? Of course, this move is dominant in the um, attack. Now, uh, my problem with this setup is it does have a weakness to, to ground, which kind of blows, but I mean, it's a good setup. Oh, God, yeah. Bomb of Snow. Now, the reason I don't run this, you know, despite how cool it looks and all that good stuff, is that grass and ice typing because I want to hit my fire type attack and it's toast. Electrode, pretty self-explanatory. I was I would set him up with a focus sash or something and have him use explosion. Superior, which I believe I did run for a moment on the VGC Academy videos. I don't know for sure. Golbat, Registeel, Ledger Rock, Torterra, remember him. Aerodactyl, Gengar. Now this is actually the Pokemon I was going to replace Gengar with. Uh, Gengar Alakazam with. It does have a very similar setup to Alakazam. Cast Warm, Barbarical, another VGC Academy favorite. Swallow, Wall Rain, another favorite. Kangaskhan, uh, which I did run for a bit of time, um, but I never EV trained it, so you know it's not really the greatest. Uh, what is it? Delphox, Aurorus, Nespri, uh, Lapras, Salamence, Greninja. He was very. He was also. On the original VGC Academy, he's got a really high special attack. Oh, not special attack, attack and speed. My, my Mawile, um, I believe I caught this in X and Y. Yeah, X and Y. Now, that's a possibility as well for a new fairy type. Kecleon. My Thunderous, which was also ran really early during the uh, VGC Academy, it was even used in the Ravage Legend battle video, the live action one, not the battle video. Now, so that's the end of box one. Now we move on to box two. Relicanth, Onyx, Needle Queen, Guard of War, Dragonite, Diancy, another Gengar, Metagross, Drapion, Steelix. Is that the Steelix I was going to run? Yep, that's the Steelix I was going to run. Aegislash, Cabalion. Azelf, 
uh, Jolteon, Florges, Jigglypuff, Rayquaza, I don't know why he's in there, Dragalge, Lucario, Garchomp. Now this was called Arnex and Y as well, and this actually may become the new Mega eventually once I do finally get the Mega Stone for it. Because I can really work with this Pokemon to set it up. I think it already is EV trained. I did it already myself earlier. Charizard. Uh, that Charizard, however, is not EV trained. So that would be something to work on later. Reg Ice. Hydrogen. That's the original Hydrogen I've been running uh, last episode. Pinsir. I think he was in a VGC Academy. Cresselia was. Hawlucha. Now that was an option because that thing can really move. Played all. Now this is a gift from my cousin Michael, uh, also known as Ravage Legend. You can kind of see what it was worked on. Gudra, Sableye, my Swampert, my starter Pokemon Swampert. Now we're going to enter the final box, which was the last of my Pokemon here. I don't know for sure. I don't, well, not him, but the one I was seeing him just a second ago. Uh, Gyarados, Shadinja, Volibee, Himbor, uh, my Whismur, which is aimed after the one that Zania carried around. Uh, Skarmory, Chestnut, Fortress, Espeon, Gogo, which is Korean. Snorlax, Conkelder, Con Spinda, Sin Slash, Rodom, and Raichu, and Lantern. This is the Lantern I've been saying I was going to run. Because he virtually doesn't, I don't think he has any, any uh, weaknesses. So, you know, that could work really well. Alright, so uh, that'll about do it for this Shedems 1 video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will have another Battle Spot video coming soon. And uh, I'll see you guys again later on soon.